Suppose R is a commutative ring with identity and I is a proper ideal. We're going to prove that I is prime if and only if the quotient ring R mod I is an integral domain. So proof. Let's start by assuming that the quotient ring is an integral domain. So suppose the quotient ring is an integral domain. That means if we take any two elements in this ring and we multiply them and we get zero, then at least one of them is zero. So that's the definition of integral domain that we'll be using. And the claim here is that I is a prime ideal. So suppose that AB is in I for some AB and R ring. And we have to show that A is an I or B is an I. And that will prove that I is a prime ideal. Now then, the fact that AB is an I means that the coset I plus AB is equal to I plus zero, where I plus zero is the identity element of the additive subgroup or of the additive additive group of the quotient ring. So this is the zero element in the quotient ring. So I plus A times I plus B is equal to I plus zero. So this is the zero element in the quotient ring, and the quotient ring is an integral domain, so that means that I plus A is equal to I plus zero, or I plus B is equal to I plus zero. This means that A is an I, or B is an I. And so we're done. This means that I is prime. So thus, I is a prime ideal. So one direction down and one to go. Now let's start by supposing it is actually a prime ideal. So suppose I is a prime ideal. And now we'll prove that the quotient ring is an integral domain. So we'll assume that we have some product and it's equal to zero. So suppose that we have, say, I plus A times I plus B equal to I plus zero for some I plus A, I plus B in our quotient ring R mod I. So then we can rewrite the above as follows, then I plus AB is equal to I plus zero. And this is precisely what it means for AB to be an I. Since I is prime, since I is prime, this means that A is an I or B is an I. In other words, I plus A is equal to I plus zero, so I plus A is equal to I plus zero, or I plus B is equal to I plus zero. So we started with the product equal to zero, and we showed that at least one of them must be zero, so we've shown that R mod I is an integral domain. So thus, the quotient ring is an integral domain. And that's it.